In my last five minutes, I want to close with this. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ was not a great injustice, but neither was it solely an act of justice. On the cross, Jesus gave himself voluntarily out of his love, mercy, and grace. He said, no one takes my life from me, I give it of my own accord. It was not taken from him, he laid it down for his people out of his great love for his people. The reason the death was necessary was we don't believe God can simply allow his law to be broken. It is reflective of his very nature. And so there had to be a means by which that law could be fulfilled and propitiated. And so Father, Son, and Spirit together in eternity past choose this method whereby God will be able to justly save his people. It requires punishment of sin. My friends, a person will either get justice or a person will get mercy and grace. No one will get injustice. No one will get injustice. If someone experiences God's wrath, that is simply God's justice against their well-deserved sin. If anyone experiences God's mercy and grace in eternal life in his presence, it is solely of his grace, his mercy, and his love. It is never because any of us are any better than anyone else. And no one will ever receive injustice. Never. So the crucifixion was not injustice. Crucifixion was the ultimate fulfillment of of God's justice, the demonstration that he is a holy God, the demonstration he cannot simply wink at sin. I hear Muslims talking about God's mercy and his grace, but what about God's law? What about that law that represents his very holy nature? Is that just simply laid aside? Is that simply made nothing? You see, we are not saying God can do that. We are saying that God's law is real, that there was a need for atonement, there was a need for propitiation, and that Jesus gave himself voluntarily so as to provide that perfect propitiation. And my greatest desire for every Muslim in this audience and for every person that calls himself a Christian who may not know these things, it's a dangerous world out there. If something happens, and I stand before God this evening, how will I stand before him? Will I stand before him clothed in, my, in the good works I claim for myself? Will I say, I really love the Muslim people and I prayed for them. Is that good enough in front of a holy God? Because I don't pray as often as I should. What's the only basis that any one of us can stand before the thrice holy God the God who is surrounded by the angels that say, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. You stand before him. You know your own heart and I know mine. And I know I need something other than any good work that I have. The only reason I can have peace with God and stand before him this evening is because on that cross 2,000 years ago, sinless son of God gave himself in my place his righteousness has been given to me my sins he bore upon that tree so it's not a mixed righteousness of my good works together with his it's all of him and none of me and that is why I have peace with God this evening and please my Muslim friends I pray that you will hear in that time when you consider your own heart, think about what Jesus Christ did. I present him to you, the Lamb of God, slain for the sins of the world. Thank you for being here this evening. God bless.